Mabuhay, mayang adlaw sa atong tanan. Kamusta? Welcome to our present life here in our new home. If you're new here or watching this video for the first time, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Anne, currently residing in the States with my husband Chase. Our intention in documenting our life isn't to boost but rather to seek inspiration and learning from our daily experiences, making them relatable for those considering or already living a similar lifestyle. As a Filipino and American couple, we're fairly new to RV living. It's a journey of constant learning, significantly different from the traditional concept of home. We've had experiences with renting and owning a house, but living in an RV presents a whole new set of thrills and challenges. By the way, I'm here making an egg sandwich. Let me share a quick recipe with you. I boil the eggs and separate the yolks from the whites. It's a straightforward recipe and if you're interested, just keep watching the video. I've included all the details and ingredients you'll need. Speaking of ingredients, I must confess I don't really measure. I simply follow the tradition passed down from my ancestor. Just whisper whether it's enough or needs more salt. Just kidding. But in reality, it's all up to personal preference. For this sandwich, I've added salt, pepper, a hint of sugar, mayo, and optional paper, pepper flakes, and a green onion. Feel free to use whatever bread you prefer. Okay, let's go back about RV living. Living in an RV demands discipline in every aspect. From organizing to purchasing, space become a precious commodity requiring wise decision to utilize and effectively. Day by day, we're grasping the intricacies of life in our RV, embracing new skills and knowledge. One aspect we appreciate about RV living is flexibility to move as needed. Although the reality isn't always picturesque camping sites, before embarking on this lifestyle, we conducted thorough research and watched numerous video. Though we understand that not all portray the full, full reality. Then onto a different topic, currently we're still waiting the arrival of our washing machine. In the meantime, with a pile of laundry and then some of Chase's workloads, I resort to hand washing. Growing up in the Filipino household, my parents instilled in me the importance of knowing how to hand wash clothes. It's a skill that proves invaluable, especially in situations like this. As a child, we didn't have our own washer, so we borrowed from others. And as I grew older, my mom continued to emphasize the importance of this skill, always asking, what if one day we can't use the machine? What you do? 
So temporarily, I'm putting those lessons into practice until our washer arrives. It's not difficult as it seems. Give it a try. Oh, and let me mention it was quite windy that day when I recorded this video. Hanging clothes as I posed an extra challenge, but thankfully everything dried by the afternoon. It's all part of the adventure. On this platform, I am aimed to share a genuine aspect of our living, including the challenges one might encounter. While it's undoubtedly enjoyable to experience outdoor adventures and camping vibes, there's more complexity to this lifestyle. Chase and I are prepared for our journey ahead, eager to share and document our experiences. Until next time, take care and goodbye for now. Alam!